Now, we know communities across both coasts of Florida are still cleaning up this weekend after very powerful tornadoes ripped across the state last Thursday. And the National Weather Service did confirm the Crystal River had two EF2 tornadoes come through. Now, a lot of damage was done to homes and businesses. And one of the EF2s was the strongest twister that they've had in Citrus County in 25 years. But this was also the that second time that natural disasters have happened in this community in less than two months' time. Hurricane Adalia caused major damage and flooding in Citrus County. That was horrific. They had the uh, river overflow down there. The, this tornado, though, set of tornadoes came through, unleashing 125 mile an hour winds, and that rivaled the winds of Category 3 Adalia at landfall. So this has been quite a stretch of time. Let's bring in Crystal River, Florida City Manager, Doug Babber. Doug, um, first of all, two major weather events back to back. How is the community dealing with this? Did the tornado set back some of the recovery that was going on with the Dahlia's damage? Uh, good morning, Amy. Thanks for having us on this morning. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, it kind of, we just got over the hump of the uh, Hurricane Idalia and just kind of really starting to move forward with our projects here kind of getting back on track. And then uh, we had the tornado, unfortunately, uh, last Thursday morning. Uh, no one was hurt, but you had a lot of damage. Is that the case? Yes, ma'am. There was no fatalities. We did have several people that were transported. Um, I was personally there when they had pulled somebody that did the right thing. They got to the center of their house inside the tub and the roof caved in on them and they were safe. And uh, so we got the, the word out a lot about that, about prior to the tornado, about how to protect yourself. So. We did not have any fatalities to date, and uh, the damage is almost like Adelia forgot to have the wind here. We had all the water, and we added the wind uh, with the tornado just to kind of make up for it. But it's uh, a really resilient community here in Crystal River, and they're going to dig their way out, and we're going to be right there by their side helping them up every step of the way. Great to hear the story of survival. I'm sure a lot of people are frustrated, though, having two major events in such close proximity to each other. What kind of assistance are you getting there in Crystal River? State, federal, Red Cross, what kind of agency help are you getting? Well, related to Idelia, we have everything from FEMA. Uh, they're still continuing to take care of the storm damage for the uh, flooding and things of that nature. Um, the, the tornado didn't quite meet the threshold for uh, state assistance. Uh, we have reached out to our representatives and senators here in the state of Florida to try to get with uh, the governor to help us with some sort of assistance. But right now we're working closely with the county to remove all the downed trees and starting to work on the construction debris. But uh, there currently there's no assistance for this tornado. The threshold is about $39 million worth of damage, and we did not currently sustain that. Yeah, it's so unfortunate because so many people, I think, lost their homes. I saw um, several homes damaged in the ferocity of those winds. It took metal and impaled windshields of cars. So it was a pretty uh, strong storm. As you start to recover, are there people that were hit twice with, with the different two different systems? Absolutely. Uh, the plantation uh, resort and hotel also is one of those folks that uh, was just getting rebuilt and starting to take on new customers. And then the golf course got crushed and uh, that's the, the building got hit hard again. Several residents had just uh, gotten their house back together and then were impacted again. There's, you'll see quite a few apartment buildings, uh, multifamily homes that were destroyed. It, uh, it made a path. It was a level two uh, tornado, as I'm told, uh, that went through here that was very on the ground for a very a long period of time and uh, didn't really hop all over the place like sometimes they do. It just had a straight path straight through the center of Crystal River. Yeah, the storm itself was on the ground for five miles, which is a long stretch of time to have it on uh, the ground there. Finally, as you go forward, I mean, talk about storm fatigue. Folks in Crystal River have had to endure a lot, had to uh, go through a lot here. What's the resiliency like? How, how's the mood in Crystal River? That's a great point to make, Amy. I appreciate that. Uh, the, the residents here are just as resilient as they can be, but they are getting tired. The construction workers that have been removing de debris for the last six weeks uh, from people's homes, um, they're getting tired. So we're starting to call in more folks from other places. We had a huge loss of power. Duke Energy did a great job getting everybody's power turned back on in that same day. Over 2,500 customers had lost power. Their businesses uh, had lost power, and they were able to restore that. So big kudos to Duke Energy for all their hard work. Um, the county has stepped in uh, with us because uh, we're a small community. Uh, so Chris, uh, Citrus County has stepped in to help us with our debris pickup, and we're very grateful for their help and the Board of County Commissioners for helping us. 
Glad to hear you're on the road to recovery. The good news we can offer here from Fox Weather is your recovery forecast this week is looking pretty good. Uh, sunny and temperatures in the 80s, a little bit of cooler air coming down and the humidity cut out. Does not look like uh, that will last forever, but at least we can help you in the days ahead. Uh, Doug, check back in with us. Let us know how cleanup goes, any success stories you have. Hopefully we're not talking to you about any more natural disasters, but instead the stories of recovery. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.